And what are the chances, you think, of this man making an impact in Scotland? Send in the clowns. We've been abused by everybody, the entire establishment, and now they're shocked and stunned uh, that we're getting over 25% of the vote everywhere we stand across the country. This is a real sea change in British politics. Well, that's Nigel Farage, leader of UKIP, who put the wind up all three main Westminster parties with their performance in the local elections in England last Thursday. But is there any room for them in Scottish politics? Peter Adams, the regional organisation organiser of UKIP Scotland, thinks there is, and he's here to tell us why. Good morning, Peter. Good morning, Kay. Good morning. Um, what is your pitch to the people of Scotland? Well, similar to Nigel, uh, we have a a policy which covers the whole of the UK. And at the present moment, people say that Scotland is a pretty crowded place as far as politics go. However, the way things are going, the Conservatives and the Lib Dems are falling apart. So they do need somebody to replace them because we can't have Scotland just being represented by left-wing socialist ideas. Right, so, so what are you offering then? We are offering a chance for people to actually get back and get involved in politics. One of our planks is that we believe in a Swiss-style referendum. And for people, that allows them to be part of the issues, part of the solutions that are happening within their communities. For too long, we've had top-down decisions being made by our politicians. We're becoming controlled. There's lots of decisions being made for us. And in fact, across in Holyrood, there are 129 people trying to justify their existence. As far back as 2004, I think it was, when Tommy Sheridan was in the Parliament, he asked about the EU content of uh, decisions or uh, what was going through in the Scottish Parliament. And Jim Wallace, who was the Deputy First Minister at that time, said that 82% of the legislation going through Scotland's Parliament was EU-related. And do you think that's got any less since then? Right, so do you think the the withdrawal from uh, the European Union message um, has got uh, an appreciative audience in Scotland? It certainly is growing. It certainly is growing. For a long time, people thought, ah, EU, it doesn't bother us, it doesn't concern us. But as people are finding out, the destruction of Scotland at the moment, with all these wind turbines, all starts from the EU directive, okay. which went through Westminster to become the Climate Change Act, and then in Scotland became the Climate Change Scotland Act. So you're anti-wind turbines, that's one of your policies, and pro-nuclear, is that right? We believe that nuclear should be part of a broad base of energy. We're not, you know, specifically in pro-nuclear, and that's all we should have. We believe you should have a broad spectrum of energy sources, because you can't rely on just one source. Okay. Um, Peter, you're going to come back and speak later in the programme, so we just wanted to kind of introduce you to people and and to get some thoughts, and we certainly would welcome the the questions and the comments coming in. Uh, But just could you tell us, what what is your membership base at the moment in Scotland? Um, We haven't haven't quite cracked a 1,000 yet. Uh, We started off from a very low base, but from the Corby by-election last year, all the way through Rochdale, Middlesbrough and uh, Eastleigh, and recently the South Shields, you know, the number has been increasing. There's okay. been more than 50% in that six-month period. You, so your membership at the moment is less than 1,000. Uh, your Scottish chairman, Mike Scott Hayward, thinks that you'll have MSPs by 2015. Do you share his optimism? Well, the Green Party's only got just over 1,000. They've got two MSPs at the present moment. Okay. People right. are waking up to their... Um, Oh, well, I'll tell you about that later. <laughs> OK, all right. But you think that the people of Scotland will wake up to the UKIP message? They are waking up. They are waking up yes, to the UKIP. Well, I, I know that from okay. phone calls I'm getting and emails I'm getting through our website. Right. Well, I'm, I'm hoping to get phone calls and emails as well, Peter, and we'll, we'll speak to you later. Thank you very much indeed. That's Peter Adams, who is the regional organiser of UKIP in Scotland. Um, and he's optimistic about the, part, the future of the party in Scotland. What do you think? Oh, five hundred ninety-two ninety-five.